Hey, there I am. <laughs> Hello. I'm glad you like the Animal Crossing thing. I think I made this, uh, I made this last year and I thought it was cute. It was, as you can tell, made in October from the, <laughs> the little bat wings and stuff, yeah. Basically, I was just like, ah, I need a background. Fuck it, we'll go through this. <laughs> Thank you. I like it a lot. But yes. Um actual things that I'm doing will start in a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm going to quickly look up some stuff, but basically I'm just gonna be doing some tier lists for popular games that I have played from my early teenage years slash potentially childhood. Wait, I actually don't know across the stream. I would love to, but unfortunately I don't have a capture card for my Switch, so... I cannot, and I'm upset about that. Okay, one second, I need to mute myself. There we go, sorry, I had to move my mic and I didn't want you to hear. But yes, uh... Let's see. What have we got? Uh, yeah. That one. Uh... Oh god, I don't want to do that one. Oh heck. <laughs> uh, we'll go for that one, that one's fine. Yep, that's good, that's good. Okay, lovely. Most of these will be from like SABCD. Uh, but I might add a never played to some of them because I don't know. I, some of them I just haven't played, but yeah. While I prepare, I'll let the music go and I'll turn my mic off and I'll be with you in a minute, basically. Thank you. 
Oh, my mistake. I sent the music up a bit too much. Sorry. There we go. So, let's see. Probably be this screen. And pop the window capture onto my Firefox. There we go. There you are, lovelies. You've got some tier lists. Uh, I'm probably going to do more than just the ones you can see in the tabs. Pin that so you don't have to see. <laughs> you don't have to see Blackboard. Um, yeah, honestly, I just... I'm in that, like, childhood brain rot vibe, you know what I mean? I'm just sitting there. Because I was watching someone uh, talk about their favourite Pokemon games and Pokemon starters and stuff like that. I was intrigued, so... Uh, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Uh, but first I wanted to start with just something that is, you know, connected with my channel in a sense the... Oh no. <laughs> Uh, oh heck, I don't have any music. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's gonna be just dead silence as I talk. Uh, one second, one second, one second, one second. Let me get up the media source. There it is. Add source. Uh, this one. Add source. Oh, you can see it. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Go back down into the depths of hell where you belong. Oh god, I, t I clicked the wrong thing. Oh no. There we go, pop it all the way down the bottom. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Okay. So. Big thing is, you know, very much associated with my Twitch channel is FNAF characters, because I do Freddy Hell Knight. Um, I've only been doing it for a little while, but people seem to like it, so. Let's have a chat about uh, the game that has been rattling around in my brain hole since 2014, 2015. I don't remember exactly when I jumped on, but I think it was around FNAF 2, so yeah, 2014. Feddy. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I liked Snivy as well. We'll get to that in a minute though, because right now we're just dealing with funny horror characters. Uh, is that meant to be Nightmare? I t <laughs> There's some of these which I'm kind of half recognising, but I haven't played all of the games, so I wouldn't know them all. Uh, right, we'll start off regular old Freddy Fazbear. This bad boy right here. Ooh, okay. I need to organize these. <laughs> uh, okay. And there's regular Bonnie. There's regular Chica. And where's regular Foxy? I'm staring straight through him. There he is. Uh, and Golden Freddy. So, these five in particular, I of course am it's somewhat biased towards, as will most pe as will be most people who hopped on the bandwagon around FNAF 1, FNAF 2. Uh, I just think their designs overall are really good. I don't know. Regular Bonnie definitely goes in A, just at least for- they're very successfully uncanny, where Freddy and Chica are more sort of just- Oh, to be fair, the Chica's got that jaw. You know. Personally, I find Bonnie to be a lot more uncanny than the other two. The other two have got a bit more personality to them, whereas... I think it mostly just comes down to Bonnie's perceived lack of eyebrows that really sells it for me. Because I don't normally get scared by animatronics, but Bonnie definitely is that one where you go, Ugh, a lot more. Freddy... Ooh. The original Freddy, in terms of gameplay mechanics, was really, really hard to place because, like, he's, you know, he's the mascot of the franchise, he's fine, but I never really got that attached to him outside of the games, and not only that, but he was also very, like, gameplay-wise, really cool, a really good subversion of that because he's a bastard, especially in 420, but also, you know, he's Freddy. Mascot of the series, very... Uh, very, very, um, recognisable. Not nearly as scary as some of the other, uh, creatures that have come out of this game. I don't know, just it didn't hit right for me, I think. Uh, I think. Again, some of my biases towards some of these tier lists will come down to, uh, my personal preference for rot and decay and body horror as something that properly scares me, and instead of Uncanny Valley. 
yeah. Uh, Chica's same thing. Very recognisable, very, you know, classic. You know, you, you know who this is, but at the same time as well, like, gameplay mechanics-wise, alright, I like the extra thing that you had to listen for her sometimes, that does help you a lot in 420 to kind of vaguely get a grip on where she is in relation to you, but... Eh, design overall is fairly uh, milk toast. It's just a chicken. People kept confusing it for a duck, so that <laughs> extra funny points, I suppose. But other than that, you know, fairly average. And yeah, Foxy similar situation. I don't know. I don't know where to put him. It's interesting. I liked the. To be fair, the shakeup of then having to actively use the cameras and drain your power was pretty cool. But at the same time, as well. Uh, very plain design. He is a lot more ripped apart than the other- alright, go on then. He's a lot more ripped apart than the other animatronics, which does elevate him a little bit. And that is true, he is pretty spooky just because of how quickly he just guns it towards you. I don't have chat box open, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, j to be fair, just because of how quickly he guns it towards you, I'll give him- I'll give him that spot nay. And give me one second, so I just want to whack a chat box somewhere. Chat box, chat box, chat box, chat box. Bump. There you go, chat. You are now on the side. Uh, so yeah. That is- that's my- Ooh, Golden Freddy. As the start, the most obvious of, the, like, the big mysteries surrounding the game. I want to put him in S tier. But it's, like, his design is pretty cool as well because, again, it hits that thing for me of Rotten Decay. I like that in present in designs sometimes. With the whole exposed wires and beams happening, I think it's really neat. And the mystery surrounding it was pretty cool. But at the same time as well, it's, you know, a very... It's a Freddy recolor, so... It's very hard to place, really. I'll put him in a high A. Is that the withered version? Oh shit, where's the original? Oh, there's the original. Okay, might be, might be. Yeah. Withered Golden Freddy is a lot better. Uh, regular Golden Freddy, definitely very interesting. Well, actually... Uh, both of them are roughly equal, but for different reasons. Withered Golden Freddy's design, lovely. Normal Golden Freddy's design, wah, it's a Freddy recolor. But the setup of the mystery helps aid it a lot more, and the 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 first sudden shake up of like you have to flip up the camera to get rid of him, or the game crashes and stuff like that. I think that's neat. With Golden Freddy is just boring. <laughs> uh, gameplay mechanics wise, yeah, I've accidentally started off with the wrong character. My mistake. We'll move on to the Freddy's two characters if I can find them. It's very difficult, because some of these designs bleed together a little bit, and I will get onto that later. Uh, we'll get all the toys together. And where's Toy Bonnie? Oh, I've already got Toy Bonnie. Where's Toy Freddy? Freddy is here. Oh, heck. Mangle. Mangle's pretty cool. I like Mangle. I'll get onto that in a minute. I just want to sort these out so that I have, like, a vague idea of what I'm getting at first. Uh... Uh, to be fair, on Scott, it is quite difficult to make a distinct animatronic sometimes, so I won't I won't harp on it too much. Oh yes, Shadow Freddy and XQR Wobbly Wobbly. I don't know. Oh, is that meant to be Fredbear and Spring Bonnie? I have no idea. I, I again, I haven't made played much attention to some of the um, side game content, so I might be a little bit out of the loop for some of these. Uh, yeah, that's. An issue that we will have to deal with, but yes. Uh, you bear in mind this is all main, main series stuff, so... Yeah, Withered Freddy is... Just kind of has a... Too, he's too friendly looking. For my tastes, personally. He's the least withered out of all of the withered animatronics. Just kind of genero, you know what I mean? Yeah, but... Put uh, Golden Freddy above with Golden Freddy. With Golden Freddy goes here. Too Gennaro, too friendly for my tastes. He actually... He... he, None of the designs disturb me much. But his is less uncanny than uh, Toy, Golden, uh, Toy Freddy. Which is why it kind of places... He, a funny thing, Toy Freddy places above him just on that merit. 
The withered versions were interesting, they were a very interesting concept, and it threw a lot of uh, people for a loop with the lore. Because as it turns out, the, the game was a prequel, this is not actually the versions from the uh, FNAF 1 establishment. I thought that was cool. Withered Bonnie has no face, and I think that's kind of cool. And the, 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 the red laser eyes that stare into your soul are pretty cool. But by god, the gameplay for this lot is bland as shit, so B tier. <laughs> Uh, with the Chica gets a little bit above, but just because of the, the whole two mouths thing, I think that's kind of neat. <laughs> um, yeah, all of these go in C tier. I'm sorry, I they're nice, but I don't like them much. <laughs> Mangle though, Mangle gets put in A tier because I like the again rot decay, things falling apart at the seams. Almost complete inhumanity really works a lot better for me than almost complete humanity, so it's just my personal thing. Except for this one. This one genuinely disturbs me. The whole black void where there's meant to be features. Love that in designs. Love that a lot in designs. And that will definitely reflect. I hate you. You're alright. <laughs> and Foxy's cool. I like Foxy's uh, vibe in this. Probably. Like here. Uh, pretty easy to deal with in the game. The design's fine, and it's just slightly more withered Foxy, who's surprised, you know. I like the jaw being um, completely slack, though. I think that's kind of neat. Shadow Bonnie uh, is got, like, got more development in the later games, so I want to put them in A. But, you know... Oh, sorry, it's not Shadow Bonnie, it's just a key smash, but I don't feel like pronouncing that today. Yeah, those two go in B tier because like neat, neat secrets, but wah. I don't need to explain myself on that. Again, rot, decay, it being infinitely present, omnipresent, and the fact that it's actually the the I think <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's the murderer of the initial five kids. Like that a lot. I love how uncanny it is. I love the fact that it's got that kind of mushy face where it's not really defined like some of the other rabbits. I love that design. I love it a lot. And then, just consequentially, I'm going to break my ordering real quick. Scraptrap is going in D. I hate him. <laughs> Actually, hang on a minute. Can I make- okay, add a row below. The- will be called Scrap. Hang on. That's D. The row below is called Scraptrap. Because he's disgusting and I hate him. That's just, I think everyone can agree <laughs> on that. A lot of people really hate him, and that is absolutely valid. I really don't like him either. Uh, the, the phantoms are fine. I, it's, they're a bit. Uh, you know, it's not got the same. It doesn't hit the same. So, it's, you know, they're, they're annoying more than anything else, and I think that kind of stains them a bit. It's just how pissing annoying they are. I, I'll, I'll bump the marionette up a bit, because that one that one's genuinely quite disturbing. Uh, the nightmare ones, I like the concept, but in execution they're quite... silly. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. Freddy and the Freddles, those are pretty cool. I'll put them, like, mid-B. Uh, Nightmare Chica's, and, you know, it's just... I actually move these down to D tier, I really don't like them. <laughs> um, yeah, Nightmare Foxy's pretty cool. Nightmare Bonnie's fine. And I feel the same way about all of these. Nightmare Fredbear, pretty neat. I'll put them at B. Uh, I'll put you at C. Nightmare... Oh, uh, same thing, you know? And what the fuck is that? Is that meant to be- Oh, wait, ah, uh, is that... What is- I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm gonna add a- <laughs> add a row. And I'm gonna call it who, and it's gonna be blue. I don't- I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm lost for that one. jack foxy Thank you. Okay. Yeah. The jack o lantern ones are... D eh. D-tier. They're not that interesting. 
plush trap. I d mm, don't like plush trap. Well, design really neat in concepts, in execution, eh. Nightmare Mangle is pretty cool though, so. A little bit further into C. Nightmarian doesn't hit the same, you know? Not got that, you know, it's, it's the eyes and the teeth. It didn't need the eyes and the teeth. Put them in who because they also forget. Yeah, that's a fair point. My bias towards Halloween is kind of making me apprehensive, but I'll be honest with you. Ugh. Um, no. Ruins what was so good about the puppet because it added eyes and teeth. That's not what made it interesting. Old Man Consequences goes in S. Not on design, but just because of how interesting it is. Just how absolutely fascinating I find it. Endoskeleton, uh, not from world necessarily, but just generally the endoskeleton design I think is neat. Uh, so... Be tier. Sure, why not? Honestly, I'm gonna... Oh, I don't like putting him in D, because he's not that bad, but at the same time as well, Nightmare is just so... Uh, really, really interesting and threw a really big spanner in the works when it came to lore for the game, but... Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> Old Man Consequences needs his own tier, because he's so full of mystery. He's going in S, that is my decision. Uh, the candy robot thingy-majig is... I like the stories that they tell because it adds more lore to the game. So that kind of saves him from being D-tier just because of how it's in Pizzeria Simulator. Not that interesting. <laughs> Um, oh, I just realized this doesn't have the stuff from Security Breach. Whoops. <laughs> well, I feel pretty positively about every design from Security Breach, so it's cool. Circus Baby and all of the fun times are really, really interesting, and I like them a lot. Uh, so they're all kind of in the same tier of, like, they're pretty damn neat. I find it interesting that Fun Time Chica was kind of exclusive to Pizzeria Sim. Not the other one. But yeah, Circus Baby... I love the hints to the fact that they're not meant to be exclusively for performance, or not even really designed with performance in mind as much as containment. Because you can see the mouths on, like, um, Baby and Ballora are just... They're solid, they're not moving. I think that's neat, I think that's really cool. Whereas the entire rest of the face, that can move all on its own, just not the mouth. I think that's a clever nod to the true intention of the design. So, those two go in A. I think that's very nice. And generally speaking, the lore behind them both is very f you know, fascinating. Ugh, I hate to do this, but <laughs> Funtime Foxy is just... fine. And I feel the same way about Freddy and Bon Bon. Enid in this state is... Wah, I don't like it. The, the the idea of the combined animatronics is cool, but why is it just like a mesh of wires that look like a man? Uh, the tiny baby, I don't remember its name, is also in- well, no, it's, it's in C2. The design's fine. The mini arenas are pretty cool looking as well. It hits the same kind of uncanniness as the puppet, but not nearly as well, so C tier. Uh, phew. lol bits a funny meme one, so I guess we need- we probably need a tier for meme- memes, don't we? I don't know. I like lol bit. Lol bit's actually kind of funny. Go on then, B tier. The t laser beam eyes for the baby. <laughs> it's the exact same design. I can't- it's the same. <laughs> same thing with the- uh, the name of which eludes me. I don't remember. But it's just pink. Not much else to say. Bonnet, thank you. And oh, they're called Electro Burbs? I don't remember. You did not just put Funtime Foxy in C. I'm sorry, I did. I do not like Funtime Foxy all that much. Cool design. I like the encasement thing. But 
doesn't hit the same because it's an animal rather than a humanoid. I think that's the thing. Like, that's, you know... I like... Th to be fair, the teeth do elevate it, so I'll put it, like, a little bit higher. It's got a nice kind of feel to it because of the teeth. That sounds weird, you get what I mean. Uh, that's just a... That's the endoskeletons from this game, I think. I, it's, I'm having trouble remembering some of these. Everything just blends together after FNAF 3. Uh, C tier, it's fine. Or no, just put it in who. The crate, cr the crate crew. I'm um, sorry, I have to. Number one crate! Helpy is hilarious as well. So Helpy will go in B tier, because honestly, it's like, you know, it's fun time Freddy, but small. But at the same time as well, it's just very funny what kind of hijinks they get into, so that elevates it a bit. The... Not you knowing the names to anything. That's fair. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I had the brain rot from like, up until 2016 I want to say, and then by sister location I was like, oh, okay, it's getting complicated now, I don't understand. <laughs> so I kind of stopped. Oh, Yendo, right, the, yeah, Yendo. Wasn't that like a, oh, that might have been a, like a secret or something, I don't remember. The knockoffs are hilarious. I love Pizzeria Simulator. That was one of the ones that I actually enjoyed. They are all going in A because of just like... Yes. I like the frog. I like Orville. Orville's fun. I like Ned Bear as well. Uh, the Rockstar ones are fine. I, just, I have no real feelings towards them. Uh, so B, really. Like, they're good designs. They're, you know, meant to look friendlier, but they've still got a little bit of uncanniness with the jaw. They're fine. I like them. I like the fact that Foxy now finally has a parrot. That's nice. Oh! This thing. This fucking thing. Music Man. Yep. Yep. Uncanny. Very good design. Uncanny. And, uh, El Chip. Ha ha. Very funny. <laughs> Lefty absolutely gets put in S, just because, you yeah, know, lore, and also, I think I reacted the exact same way that Markiplier did when I found Lefty, it was just like, hee 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 just absolutely cackling at the sight, so yeah. Molten Freddy is also, uh, hmm, I want to put him in like A or S, but just, they could have done so much with the idea of like a shambling mound of wires and they made it a pile with a face, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it, I don't care. Uh, Scrap Baby is interesting though. I like Scrap Baby. Uh, go in. Hi B. Why am I doing putting you in there? You go here. Uh, phone guy. Hello, hello. I don't know which one this is meant to be, but sure. Funny dialogue. I hate you. Uh. I will not explain. Chip is quite funny. Put Chip and C. And I don't... Uh, which ones are these meant to... Oh! Oh, 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 those are meant to be Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie, aren't they? Lefty's five dollars. You see this shit, five dollars. Exactly, exactly. Um... Yeah, I like the, the lore behind them. That just kind of elevates them. And the, the shadow silhouettes are really cool. I don't know. A. A. Low A. They're not that good, but they're pretty decent. So there you go. There's the fucking... There's the fucking thing. I'll save it for you. Download image. Myimage.png. Excellent. We've got... Uh, Pokemon? Pokemon starters. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, there's the evolutions as well. What? Oh, oh, there's other ones as well. Hang on a second. From 1 to 9, including Arceus, Pokemon XD, Pokemon Colosseum, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and Pokemon Ranger series. Ah, that would explain it, okay. So I have played a couple of those. I've played Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky and Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Balmia. So that will help me in deciding. Oh, and they've got the new Gen 9 ones, that's cute. Oh, I accidentally opened Fire Alpaca switching tabs. Go on then, we'll do, we'll do, uh, we'll do the starter tier list, why not? Uh, yeah. Matchup. It has a tail. 
I'll put it in C+. It's a cool mon. Munchlax is cool. Um, cool powerhouse. I'll put it in B. Pichu, I d It's very cute, but I, d I don't have the same emotional attachment to Pichu as some people do who play Gen 2. <sighs> so C tier, I'm sorry. <laughs> Riolu. A tier. I will not explain myself beyond the fact that, like... Riolu was one of the first Pokemon I had in That's Fair Moss. I <laughs> Pokemon is one of those games where I just know things about it because I've been doing it for a while. I've been playing them games. Um oh, there's a cute little thing of Poppy. Okay, I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. There's so many. Oh, there's two Pichu. Oh, that must be for different Okay, fair enough. I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm getting distracted. Oh, there was a new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon out. That would probably explain it. Did... I will not explain myself beyond the fact that I love Hisui and Decidueye and Alolan Decidueye. They're both amazing designs. And Alolan Decidueye especially hits the sweet spot. It hits every single thing I like personally about anything. It's got the Robin Hood theme and my, you know, my name. Not the one I picked for myself, but some of the family names that I have have associations with the Robin Hood mythos. And as well as that, it's, it's just Robin Hood stuff is cool as hell. My three favorite types are Ghost Duck and Grass. <laughs> and it's a Ghost Grass type. And it's a cool bird. And it looks neat. And it gave the Grass type justice finally. Just mwah. And this Hisui and Decidueye is just cool as hell as well. I love having a big punchy bird. It's cool. Uh, that is not a fire type. I like that a lot. <laughs> that is Raichu. Pokemon. Hello, Nova Cream. <laughs> Cubone is cute. I've never had Cubone in Mystery Dungeon, so I'm guessing that's a. Uh, can you get Cubone in Mystery Dungeon? I don't know. But a ground type, so B. Plus, and also, I feel sorry for it. Axew. I love Axew so much. Aesir. It's just mostly from sentimentality, but also, generally speaking, Axew is just a really neat dragon type. One of the first of the, like, common dragon types. It's cool. And, uh, Fanpy I've never used in a game, and I don't really know much about them. C+. Plus. <laughs> Vulpix, I've... It's a fire type, and it's pretty cool. Uh, I've never used them as a partner, but they are a neat Pokemon, so B tier. Azuril is a toughie, because Azuril is so weak. I, I, I love Maril. Maril's going in B+. Plus, but Azuril, I think, will have to go in C, because Azuril is just very weak in comparison. I hate to split up the real brothers, but I have to. Persian is fine, C tier. <laughs> Skitty is adorable, um, but actually Skitty has a lot more flavor than Meowth, to be fair. Uh, well, that's, that's a lie. Persian doesn't have much flavor, but Meowth does. Skitty and um, the other one I've seen, like they're based off of those pincushion models. I love that. I love that kind of cat design. I have a family friend who has little collectible cats with the kind of pin thin thing stuck in them to look like Skitty and Delcatty. Not literally, it's just a design choice for cats. I think they look really neat. I love them a lot. Uh, Shinx, uh, A+. Plus. It's entirely down to Shinx is part of my Gen 4 bias, but also as well, isn't it just cool? Like, Shinx, Luxio, and Luxray are just really, really cool Pokémon. And I think, you know, the electric type doesn't get used all that much, so having a cool electric type was really good. Primarina. It goes in S tier, definitely. Primarina's just concept was really cool. It's a very unique typing. And, you know, being an opera singer was really neat, and the signature move is really cool. I think they're very cool, overall. Uh, Hisuian Samurai and regular Samurai I haven't used much of. But I'll put them in B+, because I like their concept a lot. And from what I remember, Samurott's pretty tanky, so that's pretty good. Uh, 
I think that you belong in S tier. I love the Alolan designs a lot, which is interesting because like, I like Alola as a region well enough, and I like the Pokemon, but I'm not a big fan of the story and the pacing. Uh, so I tend to kind of mid-range the Alola games, but yeah. You only had one water for Death Fodder, that's fair. Uh, I think definitely I had, uh, I never went down the HM Slave route, but, uh, no, that's a lie. I did once in Gen 4, and it was a Bibar also. There you go. Um, Poplio is adorable. Poplio goes in S. Uh, Arcanine is... Ooh, uh, Arcanine I have mixed feelings about, because it's such a cool design, and I definitely understand why people love it so much. But... Yeah, I can't get past just how overhyped Arcanine is, you know what I mean? B tier. It's a cool mon, and I've definitely used it before in Kanto runs I've done, which I've only done one because I did Let's Go Pikachu. Uh, but other than that, I do use it occasionally. I think it's a very cool mon. But again, very overhyped, and unfortunately that tends to stain it for me. Uh, Venusaur, I think, is pretty cool. Uh, big Chonky Boy. Big Chonky Boy goes in B+. Ivysaur is a lot better, though. I like Ivysaur a lot more. That goes in A. Just, I like Ivysaur generally as a mid-stage. One of the least ugly ones, I think. Oh, heck, there's a lot more to go through. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Chestnut, my beloved, goes in S. I love Chestnut. And so does Torterra. Torterra goes in S+. I love the concept of literally making a world turtle. Well, tortoise, but still. I think that's amazing. <laughs> Especially as someone who, you know, likes the disc world a little bit. I just, you know, it's not the same, obviously, and the world turtle has been used in Mythos before it was used in Terry Pratchett's writing, but haha. <laughs> and also, Torterra was one of the first starters I properly bonded with, so yeah. And Grottle's pretty alright. Put him in A+. Actually, no, I'll put him in A. He's fine. He's definitely a decent mid-stage, but he does have, like, weird bush- He does have the weird lumps that don't really serve a purpose, so... Falls him down a bit. Servine is cool as hell. A+. Gameplay-wise, really bad to pick the Grass Starter in Unova, but fuck you, I love the Grass Starters. <laughs> Electabuzz is pretty cool. I like Electabuzz. Um, the Gen 1 overhype is definitely playing a part, and it's definitely an aspect of why I don't like it as much. But Electabuzz is still cool, and pretty decent competitively from what I remember, so A tier. Same thing with Electivire. Uh, Eevee, great Pokemon, really cool, really versatile. Ah, S tier, gone then. Wooper, my beloved, <laughs> goes in A+. Plus. Purely for the meme pick, but also, I just, I like Wooper a lot. Wooper's neat. Uh, Delphox. Ooh. That's tough. I really like the concept of Delphox, and I like what they did. But unfortunately, just, it didn't hit right. You know what I mean? There was a little bit of... I'll put him in B+. It just didn't quite hit right, I feel. High B+. Um. Bah, 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 bah. Oh heck, where's um? Okay, we'll get Growlithe in there as well. Growlithe is adorable and absolutely deserves to go in A plus. I will give them that. Well, B plus probably. <laughs> Where is? Oh, there's Tepig. Tepig is super cute, and I love Tepig. As a starter in Mist and as a partner in Mystery Dungeon, I've heard they're very good. Um. I'll put them in B+. Plus. I like them a lot, but uh, the design- actually no, the design is actually very cute. Go on then, A tier. <laughs> Similar thing. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? I can never remember the name of the mid-evolutions for the fire type. But for sure B+, plus, and Embor is really cool, so I'll put them in A. Just objectively speaking, Embor is really cool. Grookey, I like Grookey a lot as a standalone, but the rest of the evolutionary line goes lower. <laughs> it's just so cute. 
The same thing, I think, with the rest of the Galar starters. They all go in A+. Uh, ooh, Sceptile. <gasps> Krogunk! Krogunk, yes, 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 yes. S+. Plus. I have a bias towards the poison type. Krogunk in general has so much flavor, in generally speaking. I love Krogunk, and I love Toxicroak. Um, Sceptile goes in S tier, I think. Same thing with, actually, Trico goes in S+. Plus. Uh, just purely <laughs> my own personal bias. Where is... And Grovile. Grovile goes in S+, plus as well. Because of the storyline behind Trico in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, and I assume Time and Darkness as well. The, the whole story behind Grovile is awesome. And Sceptile is really, really cool. The only reason why it's not an S+, plus with the rest of the line, is just because I haven't used it much. Um, but Trico is massively, massively important to me personally, so that will colour my bias, of course. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't like Charizard. I really don't like Charizard. It's just a fucking dragon. I will never understand the hype. Torchic is cool, though. C+. And Mudkip is very cool. I'll put you in A. Uh, Quilladin, I... I... <laughs> I want to put you higher. I'm sorry, my love. You are going here. Um, and I'm so sorry. I love Chikorita, but it has to go in C+. It's going in there because its design is so cute, but the rest of the line will not be so lucky. Groval, um, not Groval, what the hell am I about? Bayleaf goes in, like, high C+. Because Groval is cool looking. But, yeah, no. Uh, I love, I love the grass starters. I love all of them design-wise. But I can't be nice to Meganium, because its move pool does not exist. It is so small. Where is Meganium in this? Actually, I can't find it. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll put it down when I come across it. The Grookey Circling Evolution is fine. B+. I like it enough, but it's not great. And Rillaboom is cool. Rillaboom is really cool looking, but... Blah. The pure grass type was not doing it any favours design-wise. I think they could have benefited a lot with Rillaboom with giving it a dual type, and I know it would have messed up the whole pure type thing that they were going for, but Rillaboom needs more flavour, I think. The the, the rocking uh, hair does help, because it's meant to be like a cool rockin' monkey drummer, but they could have done more with it. Without the drum, it's a very bland grass monkey, you know what I mean? Um, Quilava is very cool. I love Quilava, and I love Cyndaquil. They're going in S+. But Typhlosion I don't like as much, unfortunately. <laughs> I think Typhlosion unfortunately suffers from it being a bit too plain, and without the fire, and because of the fact that the fire is not a constant in the design anymore for, um, blah blah blah, the Cyndaquil line, uh, Typhlosion just suffers as a result and looks like a funny little smooth hedgehog thing. Still cool, but I'm sorry, Typhlosion. <laughs> uh, I'll go back to you in a minute. <laughs> you go in S+. Plus. You go in S, actually. S, definitely. Very, very fun to use, Empoleon. Uh, why not is... I'm sorry, I'd... I have never gotten along with why not and Wobbuffet's move pool. Chespin goes in S+, plus, uh, because of personal bias. <laughs> well, no, S actually, really. Uh, and also, you know, it's I love the concept behind all of the Kalo starters. In execution, they were pretty good as well, but the concept is just so neat. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't like Feraligator that much. The Feraligator line, just to me, is like a worse version of the Mudkip line. And I know that came after, obviously, but, you know. Comparatively speaking, it just doesn't hold up. Especially not the mid-stage. The mid-stage to me was always just so ugly. Uh, Combuskin, similarly, really cool, but a horrendous mid-stage. 
uh, and Vulpix, that's what it's called, Vulpix, will go in A+. I think all of the, the beginner stage designs are very, very good. Uh, Kruki. Kruki, that's the name. Really, really cool. I like the fact that they just added stuff and made it look cooler, and then Greninja came along. Greninja, I would put in A+, because it's been very overhyped, but honestly, it's justified, so it goes in S. Protein is such a neat ability, and I love that for it. Bulbasaur. S-tier design. It's just so cute. Well, actually, I'll put it in... I'll put it in A, actually, being more objective. Same thing with Squirtle. Squirtle goes in A. Well... Yeah, yeah, Squirtle goes in A. Sprigatito, I love as well. Sprigatito will go in A+. Fuecoco is hilarious. I love Fuecoco. It looks like a Bubble Bubble character. And the Ducky is fine. I'll put it in high A. Uh, what? No, Riolu goes above the Ducky. <laughs> Marowak, easy, easy, easy. Easy A. For sure, I love Marowak. Marowak is cool as hell. And Combuskin, not Combuskin, watch it, Combuskin. I don't remember the name, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have very mixed feelings for it because it's so cool. But much like Growlithe, it's very overhyped. It's not that good, lads. It, Machoke is weird. I like Machoke, actually. Machoke's good for, for, you know, a good fighting type to bulk out the ranks, but... Blah. I'll move you up, I'll be nice. Yeah, this one's cool. B plus. Infernape, I love. I love Infernape a lot. Uh, we'll go in S tier, personally. And Monferno is cool. I love just this, the Sun Wukong rep is... Mwah, I'm here for it. I love m references to mythology. Personal taste, but also Dark Ice is such a neat typing combination, so... Uh, Mime Junior is cute. Mr. Mime is horrendous. <laughs> Go to jail. Vaporeon is fine. I think they could have they could have executed the water thing better, but it's still cute. Dartrix is all right. Uh, I'll put him in A. Put him in A plus actually. I like Dartrix's overall vibe, kind of the David Tennant Doctor look, but. Mm. <laughs> Uh, and Ash Greninja is pretty cool. Ash Greninja will go in S tier. And Jolteon is cool. Jolteon is really cool. Jolteon goes in A. The electric typing was quite underrepresented in early gens, so it's good to see more electric type rep. And Flareon is similar beyond the fire typing thing. There weren't many choices, to be fair. Oh, Bastiodon. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Blech. Bastiodon and Shieldon go in A+, plus because I love them. Uh, and the Starly line in general, I love. I love them. I loved having a Starly in uh, Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia. So much fun. I love the Starly so much, it's so cute. Uh, so Starly goes in A. And Staravia also goes in A. And Staraptor, where is it gone? Staraptor goes in S+, plus purely because, my god, it's cool. Actually, if I'm being more objective, it goes in S, but... Yeah, cool. Cool cut. Cool bird. Psyduck is fine. <laughs> Golduck is also fine. It's a duck. It should be psychic type, but it isn't. That's... there's not much else to say. Sylveon's pretty cute. I'll give it an A, I think. Sylveon is cute. Leafeon, uh is my personal bias coming out for the grass type, so I'll put them in A and try and temper my expectations. I just think the design is very ethereal for both Espeon, uh, fine, uh, Leafeon and Glaceon, I think it's very cool. They kind of mirror each other a little bit as well, I think that's neat. Um, Boniri is excellent, I love Boniri's design. I like the concept of using the ears to punch, I think that's very cool. Incineroar, I have mixed feelings on. It's cool, but at the same time as well... <sighs> you know? I understand it's meant to be uh, uh, 
lucha, it's meant to be like an evil lucha. I think that's a really neat concept, but I can't get over that it fires from its belt. I just, you know, they made it fucky. <laughs> it just, B plus, because it's cool as fuck, but the internet has made it fucky. And uh, Hippopotas is cool, and Hippowdon is also cool. Hippopopopopopopopopopotas. Spy Guy is alright. I think it's a similar thing. Uh, they, they did the concept a lot nicer. They did the execution a lot nicer. Having it be like a 007 lizard, I think that's cool. Um, where did Sobble's mid-stage go? There it is. And hee hee, my chemical romance. <laughs> Gibble! Gibble! Oh, Gibble! I love Gibble. Gibble goes in A+. Plus. Same thing with Gabi. Gabi goes in A+. Plus. And Garchomp, of course, goes in S. Um, Score Bunny's mid-stage is pretty cool. I'll put it in B. It's again that kind of awkward pubescent stage thing where it's like, eh. I'm sorry, I just- I don't like the matchup line all that much. <laughs> I- I should like it more, but I don't. It's just weird to me. Haxorus goes in A+. I need to be more critical, honestly, but I just- the designs are just good in this, you know what I mean? I... Yeah, it's good. I like it. I like Cranidos and Rampados, but they're not amazing, <laughs> personally. Um, brr. Cinderace is cool though. I like Cinderace. Cinderace will go in A plus. Go on then. It'll be nice. Lucario is an easy S. Lucario is just neat. And the Primarina mid stage is very cute, so that will go in A plus. And then that will go in. We'll go in B plus. Be a bit more critical, Maggie. <laughs> I might have to stop soon because I need to make food, but yes. There you go. There's it so far, and Jesus Christ, there's a lot to still go through. Meowth, uh, I have not used in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and if it's a thing in EX, I've not played that game. Meowth is pretty cool. I like the concept behind it, the whole thing of a lucky cat. I think that's cute. Um, but overall, it's a normal type. It's cool. It's got an... Uh, hang on, it has a signature move, actually. Go on, then. B plus. B plus for Meowth. I'll put him... There. Oh, the kitty cat. That's really cool. I love that design. I think it's really cool. I think if they manage to do the lucha wrestling thing without making the cat a biped, I would have liked it a lot more. Because I like the way it was going. But honestly, I'm not mad at the way that... Um... Oh lordy almighty. I'm not mad at the way that Incineroar turned out. It's still cool. It's just not what I personally prefer in a Pokemon. And plus one minor a fine C tier. Pachirisu is also fine. I like it. Pachirisu is super cute. But now oh, cool. Pachirisu will go and see. Oh, uh, my boy. My boy needs to go in a A tier. I don't know how viable they are competitively or anything like that, but Snow Run and... I'm normally good at remembering Pokemon names, but it's completely gone from my head. But these two are amazing, and I love them. I have one in my Pokemon... Moon save, I want to say, called Snow Bowser, and it is my favorite thing in the world. I tried to shiny hunt it one time because I like the shinies. Very cool. Axew's mid stage is all right. <laughs> Togetic is. I have a controversial opinion here. It, Togetic's cute, but I'm not that big of a fan of it. And, uh. <clears throat> Personal bias. Uh, alongside that as well. Oh, Surviper. Surviper is amazing. Surviper? Superior is a really amazing design, but is so difficult to use, so it goes in A+. Cricketune is cool. I like Cricketune and Cricketop, but they are, you know, they're in B because you can't use them for long. 
Pikachu is cool. Pikachu's the mascot. But there's not much else going for him. He goes nay. Prinplop is a bit of an awkward mid-stage, I think. The Empoleon and Piplop are adorable. Uh, and P Piplop is amazing. Piplop goes in S+. But yeah. Ampharos is... Really... Uh, I want to put it in C, but that feels mean, you know what I mean? Because I like, I like, uh, Flaffy and Mareep a lot. Ampharos is still really neat, but, uh, I don't know. Ampharos just doesn't quite hit right for me, I think. I'll put him in B to be nice. Azumarill, A tier. I just love it. I love it a lot. I haven't used you. I don't know how good you are, but your design is very cool, so I'll put you in C+. Elekid is a baby Pokemon, and baby Pokemon are not fun. Quagsire is cool, though. Oh, heck. Quagsire goes an A. Umbreon is really cool. I like Umbreon a lot, and Umbreon is pretty viable competitively from what I remember, so A+. Plus. A second Pichu, there's two, and this Pichu will go the exact same place because I feel no different about them. <laughs> I'm guessing one of them is spiky-eared, but I don't know. Espeon, similar thing, viable competitively, and just neat overall. I just think they're neat. And... Teddy Ursa is very cute. It goes in B, and Ursa Ring goes in also B. Toga P and Toga Tick, I... Hmm, I'm sorry to the people who like them, but I'm not a big fan. Wabafet gets off easy because I liked the anime and I liked them in Mr. Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Raichu gets an A. Yeah, Raichu gets an A. Because I like Raichu a lot. Snorax. Snorax? Snorax? That sounds wrong. Hang on. Oh shit. Snorlax, thank you. Snorlax is great. I love Snorlax. Oh, lordy. I love Snorlax a lot. Hisuian, uh... Pretty cool. <laughs> Completely blanked on the name. Delphox, I like the idea of it hiding its wand in its tail. So it goes a little bit above its, um... Did I just call it Delphox? Oops. Brixen. That's it. <laughs> and the whole flame in the ears thing feels a little bit more apparent than with Delphox, because with Delphox it's just very fluffy. Wartortle is cool. I like Wartortle, so B+. They made it fucky. It's still a really neat concept, but they made it fucky. I'm sorry, I can't deal. C+. <laughs> uh, Chimchar is really cool as well. I like Chimchar. Chimchar goes in A+. We're... yeah. Oh no. Come on then. Chimchar goes in S. And you are cool. And Swampert. Swampert is really, really neat. Really interesting typing combination. Uh, very fun to destroy as a grass type user. <laughs> but also very fun to use. Very, very cool. Blastoise is just a big turtle, I'm sorry. It's cool. It is really cool. And the water cannons probably put it above D tier, actually. But I just don't like it that much. Snivy goes in A+, plus for sure, because Snivy is just- well, I don't know. Snivy goes in S, because Snivy is just neat. And, uh, Little Boy Oshawa is so cute. Little Boy Oshawa had to go in A+. Plus. And final two, Duot. Duot's pretty cool, but, uh, is kind of just Oshawa bit bigger and blue. Uh, fairly alright mid-stage, but definitely leaning a bit too heavily on Oshawott. Probably needed some more shells on it if it were to look a bit more convincing. Still cool. There you go. And finally Ninetales. I like Ninetales a lot. I do. But it is just a Ninetailed fox. It's just a Kitsune, so... A tier. <laughs> there you go. There's my comprehensive list of what I think about all of the starters. Including ones from Pokemon XD, Pokemon Coliseum, and Mystery Dungeon. The Pokemon Ranger series. So there you go. Save that one. And I think that'll do, because I need to make dinner. <laughs> so, yep, two tier lists. There you go. Wow, wow. 
and I'll see you anon. Uh, I'll see you in about an hour, because we'll be doing some Moonbase Alpha with Moss. And, yeah, yeah, yeah goodbye.